In this syringe, I have water that is as salty as the ocean. And it is gross. Yeah. But if I push on this syringe for a while, not bad. I mean, honestly, it's still a little salty, but way less salty than up here. Now, if I put distilled water down here, and whoop, the water moves the other way, pushing the syringe upwards. But this happens very slowly. This is osmosis, and this is reverse osmosis. Both depend on this thin little membrane, which lets water through, but not salt. When I apply pressure to the membrane, water molecules can pass through, but salt can't. So I get fresh, clean water down here and super salty water up here. This is basically how desalination plants work, though better than this. Osmosis has been stumping people for decades. Now, most textbooks will say something like, osmosis happens because water diffuses down its concentration gradient, but that is mostly wrong. What actually happens is that salt ions bounce off the membrane, pushing water molecules away from it. That creates lower pressure here, and the higher pressure pure water on the other side of the membrane rushes in to relieve that imbalance. So water does diffuse, yes, but the salt bouncing accounts for the majority of osmotic pressure. And that pressure can actually be high enough to spin a turbine. So theoretically, you could build a power plant where the river meets the sea. Now, Norway tried this and it did not go well. We've got a full video about it on our channel.